Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Nope, this is not Diamond's project. This is going to be this project. But I wanted to bring this one back in to kind of show a little bit of what I'm talking about. So you see how I sprinkled in a bunch of diamonds down here at the bottom? And then I'm gonna play with some resin on top of this. Well, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing over here, but I'm gonna mess with a little bit with that uh, glow-in-the-dark aggregate that I have. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But I thought it would be great to have a glow-in-the-dark bowl so that if you did use these for like a little key catch, you know, somewhere to put your keys, you know, in the middle of the night, either when you're coming in to find the, find the little dish or to, uh, you know, maybe early in the morning or something like that. I know my husband uh, wakes up early in the morning and... I wake up a little bit later and he's trying to tiptoe around being really super sweet to me and all that and try not to turn on too many lights. But wouldn't it be nice for him to have something that is glow in the dark and a little bit easier for him to find his stuff? Um, or else, you know, you could put your valuable rings in there or what have you not. So just have fun with it. So that's what we're going to work on. <laughs> So this is some of the glow-in-the-dark, well, those packets have been used up, uh, glow-in-the-dark aggregate that I was talking about. And you can hear the crunching. It's pretty good-sized chunks here. And in fact, I've got uh, some larger bits, too. And I thought this would be perfect for use in this because you can build up a little bit of depth here with a bowl or even that uh, little bowl, uh, that uh, little container I was showing earlier uh, with no problem. So that is where we are going to start. I've got some really big chunks. I do like playing with sizes a little bit. It makes things a little bit more interesting. And I got a couple colors in here that are not the same, so I thought I'd spread them out. Okay, so there's that. I got a little couple of pieces that fell on my table, so I'm gonna get those up. I think the bag wasn't completely sealed when I put it up, so when I brought it out, it was like dribble, dribble. It's like, great. Okay. And then I've got these little ones here. And I promise I will bring out my nice little UV light or even charge this up and go hide in the closet with you. And we'll see how well this stuff glows. All I'm doing here is filling up the spaces that the big uh, big chunks leave behind. And then I'm not gonna stop there. I'm also pushing down some of these big pieces so that way when I put the resin over it, it's not like so, you know, pieces are sticking out so much that the resin has to fill up and fill up and fill up until it gets level. At least the pieces are a little bit flatter so it doesn't take that much resin. Make it level. And you like my descriptions with my hands? Hopefully I make sense. <laughs> I think I do in my head. I just hope I do in real life. Oh, of course, there's more pieces done. I bet I, I, oh, there's a hole in the bottom of my bag. That's why it's getting everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so since this is a lot of greens and such, I'm gonna use my chameleons because I have a problem with the chameleons and I just have to use them everywhere. And these are some of the Too Faced chameleons from ATD. And that's ours till death, my buddies Erica and Jeff. And that they also come off really sparkly. There's a lot of glitter-like qualities to them. And so I'm literally sprinkling uh, over top. I'm not worried about mixing it up with the um, resin because I don't want it to color the resin. And when I put it on there, it'd be like a solid color of this stuff. I want the other, the glow in the dark to kind of show through too. So there's a couple, well, I just, 
dropped a big old glob. Aren't I graceful? Okay. I'm just tapping it down, see if I can get it to go down the corner, the little cracks and stuff. Technical terms, going down the cracks. What is that? No, don't go back in the bowl. Get out of the bowl. Out. Out, you swine. Okay. So this will be pretty, too. All right. I'm going to use my finger a little bit. Just to kind of push down the aggregates from the big points. That's a really big point there on that one. All right. Okay. So this is ready for my resin. Let me bring it in closer so I can see. I think this still looks pretty even though it's glow in the dark because of all the sparkly business going on. Okay, I got my resin mixed up and I'm just gonna use my standard um, art coat from Stone Coat, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. But it's also got a lot. Of, well, you guys know the deal. It's got a lot of UV protection on it, a lot of working time. And I'm gonna drizzle all over my board here. This is good. So all I'm doing here is trying to get items glued down, basically. And by drizzling it, it has a chance to go down the sides, connect pieces together. Um, and without putting too much of a layer on here, we're basically adhering everything in place. And so the next time when we work on it, we can work on layers and bringing up the level pretty good without worrying about our aggregate moving around too much. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of whether or not to do a little bit more. I think I will, just a little more. So right now my chameleon is gonna act more like a glitter and placing glitter down and just covering it up with something. So it'll do its effects in certain areas, but not in all the areas. To be honest with you, I haven't done this before, so. I hope my theory is true. All right, and I am going to check on this periodically over the next Oh, probably hour and might hit it with a little bit of heat because of dealing with the aggregate you're gonna have little pockets hang on zoom in zoom. I'm gonna have little pockets in the little you know the cave areas of the aggregate aggregate where it overlaps each other and bubbles will hopefully come out of them and it may take a little bit for that to happen so hitting it with a little bit of heat, and I mean quick too, because one is a wooden bowl and two, it's not that big. <laughs> so it's easy to hit the size of this thing pretty good. And I'm hoping that when this is done, what I'll do is I'll wipe off the side of this with like a, probably an alcohol um, rag to get off the loose chameleon pigments and clean that up real good. But I want that resin to bond in and cure nicely before I do. All right, until tomorrow. Okay, so here's the next day on this little guy. It's cured up nicely. There's still a little bit of texture. You can kind of hear it with my fingernails, or fingernail. And let me zoom in. The glitter came out really nice, and it's not really glitter, it's still micas but I wanted it to be really pretty even when it's not glowing. So the next thing I gotta do is clean up the outside of the bowl because it's a bit of a mess before I pour the next coat. Okay, I got a little bit of alcohol on my paper towel 
And the reason I'm using alcohol to clean it off is because wood is very porous. And I'm assuming this wood has been sealed because it is doing really, really well with the uh, resin to begin with. But um, if I were to clean this up with water, it would absorb into the wood and the wood would transfer it to the resin and it would, it would be a mess. Let's just say that. It'll change the chemistry um, and resin won't behave well. It just, it's not pretty. I believe sometimes it uh, inhibits the, uh, the curing process. It might even just remain gummy for a while. I don't know. It looked like there was some more down in there. So that's why, that's why I'm using alcohol to, to clean it off because it'll evaporate super fast. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pour some res over top. And the purpose of this is just to level things out. However, when I do work on small projects like this, I will have a tendency to um, have a couple cups on hand with a couple colors if I wanted to add those to it last minute. And I do like doing stuff like that. I am not seeing much texture, so that's good. It means it might be nice and level. Alright, let's see. I think I might do that. So I have some interference blue, and this is the sparkle version from um, ah, Resin Art. And then a little bit of white. I'm trying to get just a couple of drops here. And let me get another. Popsicle stick, because what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to move this stuff around with the stick. Okay. I almost wiped it on the side of the bowl, just out of habit of wiping the side. <laughs> that would have been bad. Alright, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this around. It'll get the resin up on the bowl just a little bit. Give it a nice seal. But the other thing it'll do, let's see, did I get it all the way around? Is it'll go, give a nice little swirl to the white. And it look very, makes it look really pretty. Let me pull you in a little closer. Got you on a little portable tripod, so bear with me for a little bit. Actually, it might be easier for me to bring it in. So you can see the glitter going through the wispies, and you'll also see the glow too. So I think it'll add a very elegant type of a look to it, but also it'll be fun and glow. So let me see if my granted my lights are on. I got my UV. Yep, it'll glow through it. So yay. Let's see. I'll put it on for a little bit. Let's see if I can charge it up. I don't know about you, but it seems to be getting brighter and brighter. Nope. <laughs> Not in the daylight. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy to the side, let it cure up and it should be ready to go tomorrow. All right, here's the next day. I wanted to bring this guy outside in the sun so you could see all the sparkles. Let's zoom in a little bit. Sorry about the AC unit in the background. But looking pretty good. I'm also charging it up in the sunlight so I can take it inside. And let's check this glow in the dark stuff out. All right, we're in my hall bathroom in the house. The kids are probably wondering, Mom, what are you doing videotaping in the bathroom? Okay, time for the truth. Lights out. Ooh. 
Okay, so this is really zoomed in. I'm curious about whether or not you can see sparkles. Well, not really, but he's definitely glowing. Oh, that's really cool. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up, because I bet you didn't think this was going to happen. <laughs> At any rate, um, check my Etsy page. I've got some stuff put up there finally, so there's a link in the description as well as the products I've used. There you go.